Welcome back. In the last video, we talked about the lenses and apertures in TEM. In this video, we'll discuss the imperfections of lenses. Generally speaking, there are three types of imperfections of lenses. Doesn't matter it's TEM lenses or optical lenses. These are astigmatism, spherical aberration, and chromatic aberration. Let's look at these one by one. In the case of astigmatism, the focal point of the ray from the x-axis is different from that of the y-axis. You can see there are two different focal points. This leads to the smearing of the image. In TEM, we mainly deal with two types of astigmatism. The first type is called the condenser astigmatism. When you converge the beam, and if the probe shape is elliptical, then the beam has condenser astigmatism. In contrast, if the beam is circular in shape, then there's no condenser astigmatism. The second type of astigmatism that you can correct is called the objective astigmatism. In most of the cases, if you are taking images at relatively low magnification, you don't have to worry about the objective astigmatism. Objective astigmatism becomes important when you are taking images at higher magnifications, especially when you try to take the high-res images to show the lattice fringes. When doing high-res TEM, you can perform FFT, the fast Fourier transform. When you do FFT on the amorphous part of the specimen, it will form a ring. The ring is formed because of the short-range order of the amorphous phase. In the example here, if we look at the top three FFT diffractograms, none of them is circular, therefore we have the objective astigmatism. In the bottom three FFT diffractograms, the rings, amorphous rings, are circular. That means the objective astigmatism has been corrected. To correct astigmatism, we have stigmators. In the condenser lens system, we have the condenser stigmator. The condenser stigmator sits between the condenser lenses and the condenser aperture. Similarly, in the objective lens system, we have the objective stigmator. The objective stigmator sits between the objective lens and the objective aperture. And in the projector lens system, we have the diffraction stigmator, which we don't use very often. The second type of the lens imperfection is the spherical aberration. In the ideal lens system, all the parallel rays should converge to just one focal point. However, for a lens with the spherical aberration, the focal point depends on how far the ray is from the center axis or the optical axis of the lens. With spherical aberration, there's no single focal point which leads to the smearing of the image. Spherical aberration has direct impact on the resolution of TEM. In one of the earlier videos, we talked about the Rayleigh criterion. However, the Rayleigh criterion only gives us the theoretical resolution of TEM. We call R subscription TH. The value can be approximated as lambda over beta. Lambda is the wavelength of the electron beam. Beta is the scattering semi-angle determined by the size of the aperture. When we take the spherical aberration into account, then the practical resolution R is a function of the theoretical resolution and that from the spherical aberration disk R subscription SPH. Substitute what we know into this equation. The theoretical part is lambda over beta, which has shown above in the first equation on this slide. The spherical aberration part is equal to CS, which is the spherical aberration coefficient multiplied by beta cube. Note that we have rewritten r as r beta. Both r in the second equation and r beta in the third equation are the practical resolution of TEM. Let's do one more step of approximation. Let's assume r beta is equal to zero. That means this microscope has the best resolution. Now we have zero on the left-hand side and rearrange this equation. You will have this expression. Beta can be written as a function of lambda and Cs. Because this beta value is obtained 
assuming that the resolution is equal to zero, it is the optimum beta. Substitute the optimum beta value back to the third equation, we'll have the practical resolution written as a function of the spherical aberration coefficient and the wavelength of the electron beam. The third type of the lens imperfection is the chromatic aberration. Chromatic means color. Let's look at the visible light first. Red, green, and blue light, they have different wavelengths. Even the lens is perfect. When they go through the lens, they will have different focal planes or focal points. In TEM, when the electron beam leaves the electron source, there is an energy spread and that leads to the chromatic aberration. The lack of the ability to focus all the beam to a single point leads to the smearing of the image. If you recall one of the previous videos, the energy spread from the electron source is the temporal coherency of the electron source. To correct the spherical aberration and the chromatic aberration in TEM is very expensive. I took this poster from Rice University. Rice has a FEI Titan Themis Z TEM. The TEM is equipped with a monochromator and two aberration correctors. The monochromator sits in the electron source to reduce the energy spread of the electron beam. The probe corrector sits between the condenser system and the objective system. You turn on the probe corrector when you do the atomic level scan, the scanning transmission electron microscopy. The image corrector sits between the objective system and the projector system. You turn on the image corrector when doing the high res TEM to minimize the delocalization. Because there are two CS correctors in this TEM, it is also called the double corrected TEM. To wrap up, there are three types of imperfections of lenses astigmatism, spherical aberration, and chromatic aberration. In the next video, we'll move away from the lenses and venture into a new topic called electron detectors.